Okay, so all right. After marking that very well. Uh, in its sketch. Just go to Xreal Boss. Here I just need something to fill up that. But okay, let's see. Yeah. Okay. So it is um hollow and the next thing remaining is um it's the chamfer. Is this so in it so far select that edge and it comes in very well okay mm, let's remove by undoing Take on observation undo. Okay. All right, delete the sketch. There's no other problem is. And then uh, on this one. And comes in very well. All right, so let's close this. Select this edge, not sketch. Select this edge, go to convert entities, split balls. Reverse direction, and then now uh, select that edge, convert entities, extruded cut to all both. That's not bringing in what I want. <laughs> going too far and this let's remove that and this as well So let's remove this thickness. Delete that. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. Go to side view. Okay. And to draw this, select this. And uh, let's the interior. Pick this. Just control. Convert entities. Bring it back. Uh, want to make it hollow. Offset. Uh, five. And then extruded balls. Go back to side view. Extrude. Okay. Right. This. 
Select here, convert, not excluded boss, uh, excluded cut, and then through all both. Yeah, and then now uh, we do the chamfer. Okay. All right. Save. Let's take a look at this. Bring this. Now we want to draw this upper part. Okay, want to draw this. So that's when our top plane comes into play. From there, you can see the orientation of the top plane. All you have to do is just uh, draw another plane up there. Okay, so we can go to the right plane. Okay, and we just draw horizontal line there. After doing that, go to reference geometry, select plane, first reference, top plane, then we pick that line. Actually, uh, it's the edge of the line, that's the position of our top plane. And now that one will pass a lot, or else. Let's see. So from this geometry, you can see the arrangement. This let's use that in a that will work. So we're still on the right plane. Go to sketch, mark our center point, which is that. So that when we go back to the newly created plane, which is this one, and select sketch already know the center which is here and you can start from there before anything else so that when I go back to the top view I have this so the next thing now is for me to determine the dimension based on the side view by going back here I drew that horizontal line and then marking to find out the diameter from here up to there. Smart dimension. So you can give it a 52.4. It's good enough. After doing that as well, still on that sketch 52.4, also find out the extrusion length, which will be first up to there. Go to smart dimension, so 23.8. All right, so 52.4. The diameter 52.4. Okay, that one won't actually be there. Let's see, and that work and the extrusion is 23.8. Or else, you can use the side view to guide us. First extrusion up to there is 24 okay and one more thing again it is hollow so that means we go back to the uh, go back to the sketch okay let's first go to side view okay, the other way around Ok, 
Okay, and then you determine. So, uh, okay. So we do have um, not really. So we do in this sketch. You can help us again. You can determine. Okay, so this is my twenty point nine seven. Right. Twenty point nine seven. How about uh, let's do it simply. Get the offset distance. Fifteen point seven makes it easier. So you look at our ball valve. Okay, that will be the interior hole. But if they okay, see what to do. So the first one. So go back here. Uh, Offset to make that okay. Let's do this okay. Now direction two. So, one thing I have to do from here, since it is hollow, uh, pick that internal edge, which is this, convert, go to extrude cut, elongate, and cut. Alright, yes. Save your work. Go to side view. Okay. And then uh, we draw the next. So now this will be in phases. So we need to draw this part, the attachment. Okay. Yeah. So we shall draw from the top. Phases. Good thing uh, the locking nut won't be part of this. And now this marks the end of the body actually. Shall come back to add the threads later because uh, the next part is is the ball like shape which is attached to this handle. Okay. So now what you do. Uh, open the reference image, get the dimension. Okay, good enough, we didn't make changes. Open a new part. Okay, and then uh, go to the right plane, bring in the sketch picture tools, sketch tools. Sketch picture, pick the reference, position it somewhere in the center. We haven't made any change here. That's perfect. And then begin drawing. We shall draw this ball as one part. Okay, let me just name this as the ball. All right. So let's begin from the top. Looking at this, it's more like a polygonal shape as well. So now, still on our right plane, we go to sketch. Our area of interest uh, starts from uh, starts from uh, here, on the top. 
Okay. Um, let's find out this dimension. Let's give it 28. Twenty-eight mm. Okay, so it goes in phases. So I have a pick one. Twenty-eight and uh, the extrusion length. Give it a uh, sixty-two. So it is twenty-eight by sixty-two. All right, and. Uh, Reference geometry top plane, pick this edge, go to sketch on that plane. Already said it's a uh, polygonal shape. Okay, all right, that is really matching 28 by 62. 62 reverse direction go to side view bring the sketch perfect okay now what we do is uh, do this let's proceed with this other attachment so Select that edge, offset entities, the rovers. Let's try nine. Okay, and then we do an extrusion. So I'm going to be small actually. Go back again to the sound view. Bring closer. It's good enough. So we save this. All right. So now our focus is on the ball. What you do? Okay. All right. Uh, let's plan right plane. Go the center line. Okay. Then draw an arc. All right. Let's go to revolve. Yes. Okay. Automatically pick the center line. Yeah, that will work. So our purpose of demonstrating operation of the ball bar. Because now with this, you can try doing an assembly by going to assembly, picking the body, which is the first. Okay, you can save this ball valve assembly and then I uh, insert the ball you can see that it's actually rhyming the dimensions so the first part you bring in assembly is fixed so this won't move component is fixed so once I drag in that and uh, the first component in the body, I edit, uh, let's see, the body, I make it a uh, wireframe mode. You can see how my internal components are fitting rough. Besides doing mats to make it a bit more accurate, if I bring, see that, it's actually almost fitting. But now we need to use mats to make the measure better. And one thing I can do with the mitts is the attachment of the handle. 
create a hole. You can see from here, there's a hole for the handle that fits in here. It's a locking system secured in this position. Let's first bring the locking nut. Save this. Then you'll see the like racing. So go back to the ball. Side view. Okay. Let's put in okay. Reference geometry. Top plane. Right at that position. Select the need. We sketch on that plane. Identify the center. Here. Let's not create something there. So let's give it a dimension 20. And then now uh, offset. Okay. Extruded cut. Mid plane by ten. All right. So I wonder it fit in there. So in this circular part created, uh, we can do a concentric mat down there with the body. Okay. So now. We create a new part. We already have uh, an assembly of the ball valve before with our uh, names. So the second assembly which I'm creating for this tutorial is meant to have different names because all the works can't open different parts the same name. So now I'm creating a new part and this part is for the handle. So I'll give it a name like handle 2 so that solid works doesn't identify it as the same. So the same procedure, uh, right plane sketch, go to tools, sketch entities, and sketch tools, sketch picture, bring in the reference image, good enough this has been changed again, position it somewhere close in the center, that's good enough, can give it a name, save, so I can already mention, give under two. Okay, then uh, right plane. Okay, now well, let's begin uh, sketching the handle. So, the best way to do this is to use spline, make it faster. But the spline will not be so flat or accurate the way I want it to be. And then, maybe that. And the next thing is, uh, is chamfer, okay, and uh, in 2D you can as well do this uh, chamfer, let's see, yeah, chamfer, okay, All right, and do feel it works best, then that and the uh, Maybe a small one, okay. Should be different dimension of uh, four. Yes. So after filleting, we have set. Select, chain, reverse, and then you close. And then now. Uh, Okay, add more chamfer here and there. Go to the extruded boards. Right now, at this point, let me give this a color. Right, 
some adjustment here. We are put there. Okay, then go to curves, split line. Okay, but and Step by step. All right. Okay, now based on our dimension of the attachment of the hole. Shall find out the best fit. Okay, smooth so cut. Right on the cut. Okay, save. So let's go to the assembly window of Bolvar, not Bolvar, Bolvar assembly. And uh, insert components, which are bringing under two. So this and that concentric. And then uh, that edge. And this edge a coincident. So um using our evaluate tool we'll go to measure pick out the diameter it's 20 good go back to the handle the cut extrude give this a dimension of um it's uh, 21. Okay. Go back to both our assembly. So that is fitting. And uh, then uh, okay. Let's go to the top view. Next thing is to make the ball Concentric, right? Yeah. So the body, okay. Component display, default display. This can actually come out. So this and um, okay. Circular part has been engulfed. It can do. I remove the concentric. Focus is this and that concentric. Perfect. And then uh, let's bring out this. Alright, so let's first get the ball. Our reference, remove it. Then the handle, our reference, also remove. Now from this, go to the body, component display, wireframe. And, uh, okay. Show in the correct side view. Trying to make a concentric mat. Something sure goes up to somewhere there. It means this should extend 
of so this looks with this interest okay direction one there go back to bova assembly and uh, can actually be laid from here was extreme that okay this will work so this edge and that edge give it a concentric relation then once we go back to this let's see the reference image okay something has got attention let's go to the ball back to the body this actually extends in there yep sketch on that so select that offset select that edge again offset to, <coughs> yes to that. extrude it side view only one direction don't want it playing blind Go to side view yes okay so it comes up to here still hold save go to bova assembly so this edge and that edge coincident now this edge and this edge are coincident so that once we do this we'll now go to Okay, that's in the open position. Let's go to top view. Alright, that's fair enough. So the next important thing to do is to do a gamut to make the open and closing possible. Okay, so uh, assembly, go to it, select mechanical, select gear, and uh, we need a circular interface. Okay, what you do, 
remove this coincident mate. Okay. Go back to the mate. Gear. That circle pattern will see the second cycle apart. And we're about. Uh, yeah. So now comes into play, and the last thing is the coincidence mate. Perfect. So there you have your animation, just like in the first one. That's the close position and then this the open position. Okay. Alright. Yeah, many I mean, other things to have been taken into consideration, the threading, but uh, then the locking nut as well. I've achieved the objective. Alright, can get your perfect view. Okay, close, then the open position. Yeah, we'll go back to ball valve. See with this one. So I have the grooving, the locking nut, the handle open, and then the close position. This is open, then the close position. It's provided the this is blocking the inlet, and then this is maybe the discharge, something like that. Yeah, it's a demonstration of the ball valve. Uh, this also went in at the stem. Yeah, locking nut, the handle, the body. Ball valve assembly, the one I've just shown to you. Many things you can do here. Change color, put the locking nut, then this body. See that? Yeah, that's closed. And it's open. Thank you very much. All right.